Welcome back to Mastering C++ 20 Features. From this lecture onwards, we'll start looking at concepts. Concepts are one of the four biggest changes that have been introduced to C++ 20. Concepts have been introduced in the core language to improve the way we write generic program. So let's start exploring concepts by looking at some simple motivating examples. Here in the file, I have two generic functions, add1 and add to container. They are both very simple in terms of the functionalities but still are very useful to explain the idea and the motivation behind the need of concept. So let's start looking at them one by one. In the function add1, we accept a parameter value which is templatized by template parameter t. The body of the function adds 1 to the value and simply returns it. The return type of add1 is also the same as that of the template parameter t. In the main, we call add1 once with the L value, which is of type integer and holds the value 1. And then we also call add1 with a value of pi, which is of type double. Doing so instantiates two different functions, add1, which accepts a parameter of type integer and float respectively. The result of this call will be 2 and 4.141 respectively. Similarly, when we call add1 with the address of pi and a pointer to an integer, the compiler will instantiate two more functions which accept parameters of type pointers to double and pointers to integer. The result will also be of type pointers to float and pointers to integer respectively. If I compile and run this program, for the first two calls, Add 1 to 1 results in 2 and add 1 to 5 results in 4.141 as expected. But the programmer might not have intended the use of add 1 with addresses or pointers. What could one have done to constrain add 1 to not work with pointers and addresses? Similarly, add to container method accepts some kind of container which provides the method pushback. And also, if we look carefully, the parameter value is being copied into the container via the pushback method. Therefore, there are some requirements which are very implicit on this function. If we look at these requirements in another file which I've written down explicitly, the type container has to have the method pushback. The type of the value within the container is same as the parameter value which means the value that the function accepts as parameter must be of the same type the container can have. For example, std vector of int can only accept int. Therefore, if we call the method add to container with std vector of int, the value must have type int. And value is copyable object. This has very serious implication because now we are in the realm of modern C++ where we use smart pointers. Unique pointers are not copyable. Therefore, if someone tries to use std unique pointer in an array, it might become a problem. For example, if I try to compile this program where I have a std vector of type std unique pointer to int and I try to push back a unique pointer to an int into the container. Let's see what happens if I try to compile the program. Here, I get a huge messy error where it is almost impossible to find out where exactly the error appeared. But in the end, we at least know that the copy constructor to std unique pointer is disallowed. And this error appears when the compiler or when the runtime system tries to copy the value into the container via the call to pushback. But we don't exactly know if the call to pushback even happened. So this is the problem with the generic code which are completely unconstrained. In the next lecture, I'll show you how to constrain these code and provide better requirements on generic function. So stay tuned and enjoy learning modern C++. Thank you. Hello there. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions or if you would like to start a discussion on the topic covered in this lecture, please feel free to leave a comment on this video. And lastly, if you are interested to learn more about my courses, then log on to my course website, mastering-modern-cpp-features.thinkific.com. 
थैंक यू